New York City tonight setting a job record. The largest number of people with jobs ever in New York, 4.7 million. 7,000 higher than from the last record right before the pandemic. An important comeback, no question, for the nation's largest city, but not all is rosy. Unemployment remains way higher than the national average, and New York remains the only big city where the inequality gap has risen. With the big picture here, here's NJ Burka. New York City is back to work. Today, Mayor Adams announced that the city has recovered all of the jobs lost during the pandemic. Experts were projecting the city wouldn't regain pre-pandemic job levels until 2025. Well, we're knocking this out of the park right now. In fact, according to the State Labor Department, there are now 4,709,400 jobs in the city, an all-time high. A credit to small business entrepreneurs like Rudy Casares, who hired 80 drivers for his package delivery company back in 2020. Early on, what we saw was a, a lot of uh, workers coming from other industries trying to, you know, continue to provide for their families. The pandemic left America's largest city in lockdown. Within two months, the city would lose more than 900,000 jobs. New York is recovering, but slowly. Offices are half empty. Mass transit has lost 25 to 30 percent of its weekday riders, perhaps for good. And Midtown Manhattan is still struggling, with so many working at least part time from home. According to the Fiscal Policy Institute, New York State suffered a net loss of nearly a quarter of a million people last year, with roughly one in three moving next door, either to New Jersey, Connecticut, or Pennsylvania. We have not recovered because people are not back to the office more than three days a week. Business analyst Greg David says New York City is falling behind the rest of the nation. Is it good that we finally got back this far? Yes. But nobody should be cheering because the recovery in New York City remains weaker than the rest of the country. And this is what passes for Friday rush hour in the busiest commuter rail terminal in North America. Getting people back to work is only part of the answer. 